What's up everybody, how has your day been? And you are watching the Apple Fox channel. And in this video, I want to talk about the iOS 11.3, more specifically, the new battery health tab in the settings. So let's just begin with the video right now. If you are new here on the channel, you should begin with pressing the subscribe button because I post a lot of videos like this one. And if you are interested in this one, you will definitely be interested in the other videos and that way you will not miss it. So just like I say, you need to be running the iOS 11.3. All iOS 11 compatible devices will receive this update. So if you are not updated already, make sure to do that. And as you can see, my iPhone is running that version. Now, how do you find this new battery health or the thing in a second? Well, you open up settings the normal way and scroll until you see the battery. You click right here and as you can see it is already right there, the new battery health. As you can see it's still in a beta. We have also seen it in a beta version, but right now even though this version is the official one, I'm running the official iOS 11.3, we still have a beta version of the battery health. Which is kind of weird, but it's still kept in the beta mode in order to make sure that it will work properly. And if you click on the battery health, you can see that maximum capacity of my battery is 99%. I'm having the iPhone 10 as you can see right here, but I have no idea why only 99% because I haven't been using that for a long time. I have just bought it a couple months ago, so I have no idea why 1% has actually got down. I'm honestly really don't know what's going on. Maybe it is because I have been charging my iPhone during the night. I'm not sure about it because I don't think it is that bad for the battery, but maybe this is the cause. So if you are charging your iPhone during the night, you should probably stop doing this because as you can see, it drains battery. Of course, the lower the percentage is, the fewer hours of battery you have left on the iPhone. So if you have a brand new device, it should be at 100%. But the thing is that right now, even though my battery is 99%, as you can see the capacity is almost full on my iPhone and that means that peak performance capability is enabled. That means that my performance will be at its highest. There isn't anything throttled right now on my iPhone and I'm not able to disable it because it is not enabled. And in case the battery percentage will actually drop under 95%, then the performance will be automatically throttled. And that is something that you can disable in the settings. It's not like you click to disable it and then click to enable. You have to go through some kind of process in order to disable it, but eventually you can do it, which is not something you could before in the 11.2.6 or below. According to Apple the battery is still working properly and that way the normal peak performance is currently supported on my iPhone but most of the time it only affects the older devices like the iPhone 6 which currently still supports the iOS 11 and also 5s and just like maybe iPhone 6s the older a device is the lower the percentage will be because the battery has been used for quite a long time maybe with the iPhone 6s it could be for like three years or so and that means that the battery will naturally drain out which is a normal thing you can find out more about it on Apple's website as you can see we have this tab where it says learn more and it will redirect you to Apple's website where you can find out all of the things you need to know about it. If you are interested in this topic, what Apple has to say about it, you can read all of these articles right here. But what can you do about it in case you find out that your battery percentage is very low, for example 60% or maybe 70 what can you do about it? First of all, you need to contact the Apple Store where you have bought the iPhone or pretty much any other Apple Store and you can get the battery replaced. It will cost you about 20 bucks. It may seem that it is too expensive, but Apple has actually reduced the prices after the issue that was going on with Apple throttling and all of that. It went from $79 all the way to $20, which is also a really good deal when considering that you're getting the battery replaced in the Apple Store, like officially. So if you find out that your battery is low and it doesn't do well, you need to contact the Apple Store and get the battery replaced. But how will this feature help you in your everyday life? For example, if you are going to buy a used iPhone, you can take a look at it. You can check out the battery percentage of the iPhone that you're going to buy in order to find out if the battery is good enough or bad. And also, you just can take a look at your own battery. But other than that, it is a normal feature that has been added in the 11.3. And finally, let's take a look at this iPad mini that has just been updated to the 11.3, just like you can see right here. So let's take a look at the battery percentage of the iPad mini 4, which has just been updated. As I say, this is not the latest device, but I'm pretty curious about it. I'm pretty curious to find out if we're going to be able to see it. But as you can see on the iPad, we don't even have this feature, which is something I didn't know about apparently. 
but I'm kind of surprised about it. But as you can see, we don't have it. And just to make sure, I'm going to go to the settings in order to see if I'm really running the 11.3. As you can see, it is right there, but no battery health here on the iPad. So that is everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found it useful and informative. And if you did, please leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed it. And for more content like this and also some iOS reviews, you can also expect iOS 11.3 review on the iPad really soon on the channel. And if you want to see those videos and if you don't want to miss them, you just have to click the subscribe button and this will never happen. So have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.